like we're on the, the unit, but <laughs> we're on the outdoor unit. Twenty pounds lighter. We got a five. <laughs> we got a five ton unit here that we're going to be replacing. You can see that the uh, dirt around the pad is kind of corroded, so we'll bring in some pavers to make sure everything is um, nice and secure. A new concrete pad and probably three or four bags of dirt uh, to get everything leveled out. Uh, we're going to leave the existing refrigerant lines, but we'll put new insulation on them from the inside to the out. We need to fill that hole up there from the, where the um, refrigerant lines go through the wall. A new electrical disconnect and a new whip that comes from the disconnect back down to the unit. And then here's your model and serial number off the existing unit. That should be it. Okay guys, we're going to do a complete replacement of an 80% efficient furnace and a new coil. This is all a York system. Gas lines are good, they're to code. We can reuse the existing gas lines. There's a shutoff valve right there. We'll put um, an, the electrical box back onto the new system. All the electrical is good and to code. Our flue is a five inch flue that comes up out of the furnace and then right over into a flue tee that ties in with the water heater. So our flue is all good. Um, our refrigerant lines are properly sized, so we can reuse the existing refrigerant lines after we pressure test them to make sure there's no leaks in it. Um, but our refrigerant lines run out of the unit up to the ceiling and then straight outside there. Um, our outdoor condenser is just on the other side of this wall on the ground. Um, let's see here. For our return, um, we may have to move our return drop over to put our new filter in, depending on the size of the new furnace that we put in. Um, I don't know if we can fit a 5-inch media filter in this given space here. You, no, we can't. You have a 4 and a quarter inch, 4 and a half inch, uh, 4 and a quarter inch space. So we'll have to put, uh, move the return drop over to fit our new media filter in. And then our condensation drain runs out of the front of the unit directly down onto the floor. And then just behind me over here is the electrical panel. It is a Challenger electrical panel. There's your information off of it. And our air conditioner is a double 40 amp breaker up there on the top. Everything's clearly marked. That should be it for the inside of the house.